Denver fire officials expressed sadness today about a fatal accident involving a passenger car and a fire engine. Saturday afternoon, the two collided. One person in the car was killed. Two others were seriously injured. Michael Abeda heard from the fire chief about what happened. Michael? Yeah, Kathy, a lot of the details of this collision are still under investigation, but what we can tell you is that in addition to that one fatality and those two severely injured passengers, one firefighter was also hurt. Denver firefighters were responding to reports of smoke at a building near 14th and Kalmouth Streets. They were running lights and sirens and slowed down when they approached the busy intersection near North Broadway and East 7th Avenue near Spear Boulevard. Still, they collided with a sedan. After the collision, firefighters sprang into action, performing life-saving procedures. Two people riding in that car were taken to the hospital with severe injuries, and one person died at the scene. Denver police is now investigating, trying to determine what went wrong. Denver Fire Chief Desmond Fulton says they are deeply saddened by the loss of life and severe injury and being fully cooperative and transparent with the investigators so they can get to the bottom of what went on. We want to be as transparent as we possibly can so that way that the public has the confidence and trust that we've worked so hard to earn that we don't lose that uh, trust and faith in us as, a, as an agency. Now that firefighter that was hurt in that collision, the chief said he had injury to his knees. All five firefighters that were in the truck were given standard drug and alcohol screenings. They're at home tonight and the chief said he'll determine when they are physically and mentally ready to return to work. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.